Welcome to OTL Animal News. Your best source for animal related news from around the world. My name is Jason Kenzie. And I'm Isaac Knox. On this episode, we're going to be talking about a baby possum that clings to a back of a dog. A diving moose in Canada. And crabs that invade a house in Florida. On this first episode, we go all the way to Australia, to Melbourne, where a lady that was walking her pulley, that's a breed of dog that has lots of dreads, it's natural for these dogs, when she looks down and she sees an opossum, not a possum, a opossum. All the animals are screwed up there. It's actually a baby possum that was uh, hanging off the butt of this dog. Yes, at first glance, they thought it was a tick. At a closer glance, no, it wasn't. It was a baby possum. It was the cutest little thing. They had no idea why. Uh, then they realized it was a baby. They thought that the baby had mistaken the dog as the mother possum. Oh, possum. It isn't clear uh, how long this baby possum has been hanging off the dog's butt. But what the baby possum doesn't know is that the dog's actually charging uh, fees from the moment it got on. This is kind of a neat looking dog. It definitely has, like, its hair naturally dreads. Basically, it looks like a mop that runs around and poops everywhere. Which is kind of ironic, because then if a dog poops, you usually use a mop to clean that up. Just use the dog. Hey boy, come here. Just make sure it doesn't poop while you're mopping. Cleaning up your poop. I told you not to poop in the house. The squirrel was seen riding a there, horse. There's no squirrel, gee. Oh, oh, oh. The opossum was also captured riding a horse, a zebra, and Whoopi Goldberg. It is possible also that the dog came up to a tree to take a piss and, and then the possum was just there and it was climbing the tree and it just eventually climbed onto the dog without notice. I think that's what happened. The dog rubbed up against the tree uh, to take a piss and the opossum thought that it was his mother. Mama! Jumped from the tree onto the dog. Was riding it around like the Lone Ranger. For our next story we're going to talk about a moose and of course this happens in Canada where most moose are found. A uh, moose had decided to take a dive off a cliff. This was captured on a video from some people who were uh, out in the ocean on a little boat. Do it! Oh. oh! Oh no! And they looked up, they saw this moose. It climbed down this cliff and it got stuck. And they were just watching and watching. They knew the moose could not go back up the hill. So it decided that it was just going to like take a dive off the cliff and plummet down, hit the water. At first, the people thought that the moose had died and the moose was totally fine. If you look at the video, it looks like there's a bunch of jagged rocks at the bottom, so it kind of looks like a dangerous place to dive. It is very possible that the moose climbed down a very narrow path and then came to a dead end and it had no real room to uh, turn around because moose are freaking huge. One thing about the moose is when it hit the water, there was absolutely no splash. That's right. how perfect he was when he dived. Maybe he used his antlers as an entry point, you know, to get the water out of the way. I believe that maybe the moose had eaten some magic mushrooms and thought that it was a unicorn that grew wings and wanted to fly. It's the funniest thing. It kind of looks like what I look like when I'm trying to, you know, jump off a cliff into water. I'm like, okay, I'm go. Yeah. Funny enough, this moose uh, took a very clean dive. Looks like he almost does this professionally. He has now been sponsored by a sports company and he will be competing in the 2020 Diving Olympics. Eat that, Red Bull Winkle. So now the moose has started teaching all the other moose how to dive for fish, uh, which is only for sport because moose do not eat fish. Yeah, a very graceful dive. Uh, as you've probably seen other animals dive like eagles and, and, and pelicans, they have really clean dives. This moose has given them a run for their money. Only here in Canada can you watch a moose dive into the water. He looked really bad in his speedos. He had raided a campsite not too far away, stealing their speedo and then making its way to the cliff where it just wanted to show off to the seagulls that were flying around. Our next story is incredible. It had to do with this guy in Florida who had just come home from eating seafood to find that his house is overrun by crabs. I'm not lying. They were everywhere. They're climbing up the walls. They're like behind tables. They even tried to carry him away. 
It was crazy. Some of them were big and small and big and small and big and small and big and small and big and small. But on average, you're like about that big. As you probably know, a couple of episodes back, we did a similar story also in Florida about uh, vomiting vultures who invaded a man's backyard. Uh, this story is actually very similar. The crabs also came in through his backyard. He had some mesh there. They probably used their uh, snippers to cut little holes in there and they started partying in his backyard. At first he tried the trusted method of uh, getting rid of pests by uh, playing some Metallica music. Later on he realized that crabs don't really have ears and that just pissed him off. And so when he first called the police, he said, Hey, I have crabs in my house. The cops were like, no sh**. Hey, hey, we're having lobster and shrimp. Hang up, call us when you want to have a barbecue. Yeah, I can't make this stuff up. He, the guy was so upset, he even took out a flute and decided he was going to try and get all the crabs to follow him down to the ocean. He got halfway into the ocean and he almost drowned. And none of the crabs followed him. In the meantime, the crabs went crazy destroying his backyard. So the man did disappear. And then after a month, the police did come looking. They raided his house. They went downstairs into the basement where they found him tied up and they found that he was fed hundreds of sand dollars <laughs> yeah it was terrible before he called the police he actually subscribed to our channel please subscribe links down below thank you both the crabs and the vultures are trying to blast each other with metallica music to see who gives up first thank you so much for joining us we love you so much if you want to subscribe hit that bell we upload every thursday yeah, at actually 6 hitting that bell will not make you subscribe if you want to subscribe you have to hit the subscribe button but do hit that bell because it will notify you every time we upload, which is Thursdays at 6. But before we let you go, I want you to remember, please, always support your local animal rescues. We'll see you next week. Have a good night, everybody. See ya.